so today I'm actually very excited about this video because I'm gonna be talking about ways that you can support indie authors, especially during the holiday season, but you can really do all these things all year round. You don't even need to spend a dime for most of these, but they're still really helpful to indie authors. And I really don't think this is an exhaustive list. So if there's anything that you do to support indie authors or if you're an indie author yourself and there's something maybe that I didn't mention in this video, please leave it in a comment down below. I'd really like for this video to kind of be a resource in how to best support indie authors. Okay, so I'm gonna get the first obvious one out of the way. The number one way to support indie authors is to buy their books. Whatever format you prefer, whether that's paperback or ebook or audiobook, whatever's available, if you have the means and you wanna go a step beyond, buy their books in every format. Get the audiobook, get the paperback, get their limited edition hardcovers, get signed copies. And if you want, buy multiple copies, then you can gift them to your friends. So definitely I think one of the number one ways to support indie authors is to buy their books. Number two is also very, very important to indie authors and I think it kind of goes, it's almost tied for first as far as it being incredibly helpful for indie authors. And that of course is leaving a review on Amazon if that's where you bought the book, if that's where their books are available, and any other, any retail website that their book is available on I think would be a really good thing to do to just leave a rating and a review. Also rating and reviewing it on Goodreads. Number three would be to suggest it to a friend or lend it to a friend, especially somebody that you know would really like it. Even if it wasn't really the book for you, because let's be honest, even though you know you can really like the author and they could be your best friend, you don't have to like their books. Not every book you read is gonna be life-changing for you. It's not gonna be really your jam or your thing, and that's fine, but more likely than not, you have have somebody in your life who that book might be really interesting to or a perfect fit for. So definitely recommend it and suggest it to friends who you think might enjoy the book. One little bonus thing is if you did buy a physical copy of the book and you didn't really end up enjoying it and you're willing to part with it, I think it'd be really cool to put it in a little free library. Somewhere maybe in your neighborhood where someone else can stumble upon it and then possibly fall in love with it. Number four, if you have any sort of social media platforms, which I feel like if you're watching this, you likely have a few, like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, YouTube or a blog, consider sharing the book on your platforms, especially if you have like lines from the book that you really liked or if you really like the cover, anything at all, whatever you wanna share about the book. If you wanna do a reading vlog or a blog post review, share that on any of your platforms and I guarantee that would be very, very helpful to the author. Now, number five, if you're not really comfortable posting reviews, if that's not something that you really do on your platforms, that's okay. Another way that you can use your social media platforms to support indie authors is to just follow them on their social media platforms. So follow them on TikTok, follow them on Instagram, follow them on YouTube, follow them on Twitter, whatever platforms they have that you also have, if you follow them and just engage with their content, like their posts, like their stories, share them. If you want, you can leave a comment, even if you're not really comfortable leaving any sort of like written comment, you can always just put like a hard eyes emoji or a fire emoji or a clapping hands emoji, whatever. Saving their reels, sending it to somebody else, you can even repost it to your story. Any engagement at all on that author's platform I'm sure will be very helpful and much appreciated. Number six is easy. If you have Goodreads, you can add their books to your shelves, your want to read shelf, or if you have like a shelf for indie authors specifically, anything like that would be really cool. Number seven would be to request it at your local library or bookstore. I think it'd be so cool to see that multiple copies of your book were bought for a little library or a little bookstore like come on I would love that now number eight actually technically kind of fits into number five as well but I'm just leaving it as its own thing if the indie author that you're trying to support has a website or a newsletter then definitely subscribe to it that way you'll be able to keep up with what they're doing you'll get kind of exclusive behind the scenes access you might get early sneak peeks at things it's very exciting one thing I need to do definitely is go through all of my indie author friends and just indie authors that I want to support and make sure that I'm signed up to their newsletters now like I said this list is not at all exhaustive I'm sure I've missed other little ways that you can support indie authors So if I have please leave them down below in the comments because I would love to know Also, if you could please 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 shout out your favorite indie authors as many as you want I just want the comments of this video to be filled with a bunch of indie authors and how we can best support them Like isn't that uh, that's all I want. That's my dream And if you're an indie author yourself, please don't be afraid to give yourself a shout out comment down below Let me know the titles of your books where we can find them the genre whatever what you're working on now 
now tell me everything. Now I know that a lot of these kind of ways to support any authors might seem small and insignificant, but they really, really do add up. And they're super important for indie authors, especially who really just, they have to do all of their own marketing and selling of their books. And I know that it can be really, really hard to do that, especially if you're just not that type of person. Like I know for me, in a lot of ways, I can't, I just can't imagine having to sell my work you know? So I feel like I get it and I really just kind of wanted to make a little quick video about ways that we can support indie authors. And don't forget to check out the description below because I'm going to be linking a bunch of indie authors that I enjoy and that I want to support. I also have an Amazon wish list that I link down below in my description where it's just books by indie authors. So definitely click on that if you want to look through a bunch of just books by indie authors. If you're having a hard time finding new indie authors, check out that wish list down below because I have a bunch on there and I'm going to keep adding to it. So hopefully you can find a new author that maybe you've never heard of before that you really like. Thank you so much for watching. And if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold because you are gold. See you in the next one.